Hi, I'm Bernard. And I'm Hui Xian. We have three children. It's often said that it takes a village to raise a child, children in our case, uh, and we find it to be extremely true and relevant, not least because um, life is so much richer when our kids are growing up and running around with other children of their age. It's a cliche, I know, it's, no man is an island, but it's, it's very, very true. It's, um, we're, we're all a product of our, not just our family values that we learn at home, but we're also a product of our environment. And what is our environment if not our community? When we first started off, when we had our first child, um, and then the second, as a mother with young children, it would have been a lot easier to, yes, get my rest on the weekends, you know, let the children be at home and have their naps. But Bernard has been very clear from when the kids were very young that we needed to be part of the community and we needed to be um, spending time with other people and other... So, so because he has taken the lead, and he took the lead in doing that, um, it's became more and more a part of our normal routine. So for example, to spend time with some of our cell members, cell group members and others from, you know, whom we know from church together, to have coffee for example, to have lunch after church uh, service on Sundays and to have coffee afterwards. As that became more of a routine, then it, um, the, the, I guess the joy and the benefit from it um, just overtook everything else and we've just enjoyed it so much that even though we're tired, the kids may be tired at the end of it, you know, we still, we still make it a point and a priority. Even when we, we first bought our home, mm -hmm. we said from the outset that we would dedicate this home yeah. to the Lord. It was our hope and prayer that our home would be uh, a place where many people could come in through its doors and everyone who comes through its doors mm -hmm. will find and experience His peace and His love and mm -hmm. His joy. Mm -hmm. Apart from the adults that our kids will relate to who are, you know, their parents' contemporaries. We also have a young adult cell group that meets at our home. And we're also involved in a community uh, work that's called the Marriage Preparation Course. A group of couples who are involved in that um, and who have been married maybe for 20 to 30 years. Um, and our children also have interact with them as well. The children are growing up and each time they meet, each time we have an activity together, we're mindful that they're building memories together, memories that we hope would last them through their lives. Having the two of us being introverts um, means that this being with the community does not come naturally to us. As to why we do it then, I think my response would be that we can't rely on our feelings in life. We can't we can't sink back and just keep doing the things that we are comfortable with. If we have a certain objective or purpose that we think is greater than us, that's important enough, we need to push ourselves to be uncomfortable, to push the boundaries beyond our comfort zone, um, one step at a time, to, to do what is needed. The benefit of that is that We've become more extroverted. We've become more extroverted <laughs> as a result. <laughs>